waiting for this conversation. Uh, who are you? Shit. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean shit? I, I look. Uh, oh shit! Maybe this is bad, Brett. Yeah, it is bad. I read it and understood uh, a good bit of it. They can operate okay. however they deem fit. They can tell us to fuck off from shit. We have no power over them. God, I wish I had a bench right now. It's worse than that, too. What uh, do you mean worse than How is it worse than that? That's pretty bad. <laughs> nah, it's worse. Uh, okay, so... Essentially, from my reading of it, uh, initially, the way they proposed it, it said the only way they could get terminated was for cause. Which is strange, because we don't have labor laws in this jurisdiction. The only thing we have is something that says you can fire someone at any point at any time for any reason. Hence, at will, which uh, Andy Jones put into legislation. So when they say for cause... That it bitch. I knew it. Mm. I fucking hate when Andy the, Jones. I gave her a okay, well, ticket. Ignoring that, uh, when they say for cause, that's uh, curious, because I don't know what the cause would be. So I talked to them about it, and they agreed to revise it. Uh, and I also had questions about, like, the extent of their power and all that. And they agreed to revise it somewhat. And so they put in this thing that says that um, uh, they will issue bonds to cover any debts caused by the company. Oh, and these the bonds fuck? expire. Just wait. These bonds expire in six-month terms, okay? But here's the thing. You know how when someone writes something and it sounds really good for you, but it's actually really bad? Like, uh, the example I used with Buddha was, if someone tells you, hey, me and my employees, we're going to come to your, uh, you know, your job site and we're going to work for you. And we're going to be there uh, and we're only going to bill you 40 hours a week, no matter what. Rain or shine, uh, you know, we work overtime, we're only billing you 40 hours a week. That sounds great. You're like, oh, if they work overtime or I need them on weekend, I don't got to pay them anymore. But what that also means is that if, you know, there's rain delays or another act of God or, you know, a volcano erupts or something, you're still paying them 40 hours a week. Goddamn if, contractors. Uh, exactly. If there's a holiday, you're still paying them 40 hours a week. So, it, you know, there's things that sound good for you, but it's not. Uh, and as a good example, this Aegis thing, what they wrote in there is, this company, right, which we uh, get one person appointed by the Senate at their quote-unquote recommendation, um, this company that can do whatever it wants, including, like, police powers and all this other crazy crap, uh, it has its own debts, which sounds great. Hey, the state, you, got, you don't got to pay for our debts. We'll handle all our debts. We're not going to rely on the state and anybody else. Here's the bad thing. Uh, follow with me now. If the company is responsible for its own debts and the company issues bonds to pay for its debts, and the company can only be shut down once all debts have been paid, then the company just indefinitely reissues those bonds every, you know, five months and 28 days, and then the company can never be shut down because it has outstanding debts, and the only person responsible for the debts is the company. How long has this been in the making? I don't CPD know. It literally I, just ended. What the fuck is this Aegis shit then coming out I, of the woodwork? It took it us, used to it be took a us security months to get company. CPD. It used to be a security company under Cerberus. I had problems with it because the person running it was Lennon Lee, a.k.a. Bane, who has a whole host of convictions even after getting expunged and released from being a lifer. Uh, they hired a bunch of gang members and people without weapons licenses to work for a security company, so I told them they need to get their shit together. Uh, and they repurposed that business to be the kind of holding company for this. This all started because Buddha came to me and said... Bane is in charge of this? No, no, he was. He was in charge of the security company, but now they're and repurposing he was, he was that removed. security company into this. Now the Praetorian's oh, Bucky good. Barnes. So basically, so... It, it, this started because Buddha came to me and said, how do I accomplish things that don't fall under the, you know, specific purview of the mayor but don't exactly fall under, like, PD or whatever. Things that, like, PD doesn't really handle. Like, for example, Wrangler, the uh, the storefront stuff we talked about. Like, he goes, could I, like, create, uh, like, hire a company... Could have told us to, to do it. ...do that work. And so, and wait, so I told him, um, I don't think hiring a company makes sense because it's sloppy and it creates problems, but 
if you just created another division under your office that could handle things like that, then you don't have to hire a consulting company. There's no problems with like embezzlement. Like you could just do government work as government employees. And he seemed to take that on board, but then came up with this. And uh, I'll be honest with you, fellas. I, I saw the writing on the wall with this and I expressed my concerns to the Senate. Uh, and I was told that it was approved. So I, uh, I expressed my concerns and you will note that at the, uh, the bottom of the legislation there, the Aegis Authorization Act, usually on legislation, I write enacted by Chief Justice Crane with a date. And on this one, I wrote enacted at the direction of the Senate, Chief Justice Crane and a date because I, you know, was not in support of this. I guess that's one way to say that. Hmm. So yeah. against something publicly. Can, let me ask you how legislation works. Okay. okay. So, Sorry about this. If I'm being honest with you. Yeah, this, this I just am looks like too. CPD, but ages. 